Hello friends, in this short video, I am Dr. Poonam Agrawal, Professor of Biochemistry and in short video, I will be uh, discussing about the linking number in the DNA. So, linking number in the DNA is a topological property of the DNA which can be defined as sum total of twist and right. This is the formula for the linking number. It's sum total of twist and right. Now, to understand the linking number, it is very important that you uh, understand these two components, the twist and right in the DNA. So, what is the twist in the DNA? Twist is defined as number of times one strand of DNA is turning around the other strand. In other words, it's a helical winding of DNA strand around each other. So, how they are interwent. So, number of turn one DNA strand is taking around another is called the twist. So, this is double stranded DNA. We have got two strands. One is pink color, one is blue color. And if you see the number of times they are twisted around each other is 25. So, the twist is 25 in this. If I tell you about this DNA piece, this is having total number of total number of number of total base pair in this is 260. It was mentioned in the literature in this particular diagram that number of base pair in total is 260 and number of base pair per turn is 10.4 if you see one turn I can show you this is one turn right similarly this is another turn so each turn was having it comprises of 10.4 base pair and total number of base pair was 260 if you divide the total number of base pair with the total number of base pair in each turn, you get the twist or the turn which the DNA is making around the other strand. So, when there is no other component, there is no right, you call this twist as a linking number. I have told you the formula. The linking number is sum total of twist and right. If the right is zero, I will be explaining you what is right. If right is zero, then the linking number becomes the number of twist. And number of twist, how you determine? You determine by dividing the total number of base pair with number of base pair each turn. In this case, the total number of base pair was 260 and uh, each turn of the DNA was having 10.4 base pairs so when you divide these two figure you find the twist being 25 which was equivalent of linking number because i said right is zero in this now the question is what is right what is right before i go to right suppose if you link these two ends of the dna this is linear open-ended dna suppose if you join these two ends the DNA becomes like this. It is relaxed DNA, relaxed circle, which is not having any kind of a strain in it. You have just joined two open ends. The twist is still 25 and right is 0 in this. Right is the strain which I will be shortly explaining you. So, the linking number is 25 in this relaxed circle. Now, what is right? I have been talking about the right in the previous discussion. So, what is right? Right is defined as number of times the DNA double helix is crossed, coiled over each other or the number of time one strand wrap around another strand. The axis, you focus on the axis. This black color line is the axis. It is coiling on itself. This is called right. In this picture, the right is 1. If it is coiling two times, right becomes two. So, right is the number of times the DNA double helix is crossing over each other. 
or it's a number of times a helix is coiling on each other helix on its or uh, if helix is coiled on its own axis that is right if you see this picture you can see both twist and right right twist is 25 in this i've explained you twist twist is 25 in this and right is minus 2 now when you talk about right you have positive right you have negative right it depends on the direction in which that twisting of the axis is taking place negative right is said to be right handed superhelix this you need to somehow memorize right handed superhelix if the helix is turned in the right direction it becomes a negative right and uh, left handed twisting on its own axis is called positive right so you have positive right you have negative right in this picture what they have shown is the right handed super helix so the width is minus two why minus two this is minus one this is minus two you have two times uh, you know coiling of the axis it is negative right because the direction of coiling is in the right hand side so it is negative right now when i told you the formula that linking number is equal to sum total of twist and right if you put the twist as 25 and right has minus 2 you get the number 23 so in this picture the linking number is going to be 23 in spite of having the same number of twist the linking number is going to be 23 so this is the relation between the linking number and the twist and right this is a very beautiful picture which explains you summarize you everything what i have explained in the in the previous pictures this is the double stranded dna having 25 tests as i was explaining you in the first picture and uh, right is zero in this twist is 25 and linking number is also 25 twist is 25 and linking number is also 25 right is zero in this when you're talking about relaxed circular dna relaxed circle you have twist as 25 right has zero here also because there is no overlapping of the hex helix axis and hence the linking number is also 25 here so they both have same linking number Suppose if before joining this linear double stranded DNA, open ended DNA in this circular form, you unwind the DNA. You see this area is showing you uncoiling. Here the twist was 25, but now here you see the twist as 23. You have uncoiled the DNA by two right handed turns. And now when you wish to join these open ends of the DNA, sorry open end of the dna you get to have this kind of picture you focus on this picture now can you see how many number of twists is there in this picture obviously you have unfolded the dna twice by right handed twist so the twist number is reduced it's become 23 and you can see unwinded portion over here and another picture if you see see when you are closing this linear ended dna it can either adopt this shape or can either adopt this shape both have same linking number these two both have same linking number but the twist and right is different in this the right is 0 and twist is 23 and the linking number is 23. This is also having the linking number 23 but the twist is 25 and right is in minus 2. So when you close this kind of DNA which is having the twist of 23, it will either adopt this shape or this shape. This is without any right and this is with right both have same linking number so the linking number is determined by 
the twist and the right both the factors. Let me tell you the two forms of DNA which differ just in linking number like this and this form they are having same number of base pair the same DNA but their linking number is different these two forms of the DNA are isomers of each other they are called topological isomer or called topo isomers they can be interconverted with the help of topo isomerase enzyme so topo isomerase enzyme interconverts topo isomer it changes the linking number but you should know that for changing the linking number cutting the dna strand is very important without cutting the dna strand you cannot change the linking number like these two forms can be interconverted without cutting the dna without cutting the dna they both have same linking number but the twist and right is different here the twist is 23 but here the twist is 25 and the 25 twist is compensated by right minus right so this is a complex association of twist and right which is determining the final topological appearance of the dna or geometrical appearance of the dna these two forms are called geometrical isomer these are geometrical isomer of dna which are having same linking number but they differ in twist and right they're called geometrical isomer they're topologically same because their linking number is same i said topological isomer is those forms where linking number differs topo or topo isomers are the form of the dna where linking number differs So, how much will be the impact on linking number and how much will be the impact on right depends upon the change in linking number. This was 25 and this is now 23. The change in linking number is 2. They say 70% of the change of linking number is shown, it's reflected in the change of right number. And 30% of the change of linking number is reflected into the change in twist number. So this is another mathematical thing which you should have a little overview of it. That change in linking number determines that what will be the number of twist and right. And the free energy is minimum when the change of linking number is distributed as 70% and 30% in right and twist respectively. In this uh, example also, I have shown you that change in linking number is 2 and 70% of it, that is 1.4 is like the ideal scenario, minus 1.4 right is the ideal scenario in which the DNA will be lying. And change of linking number 2 and 30% of it is going to be 6 and that will be from 25 minus 6 is going to be 24.4 that will be the ideal scenario when the twist is going to be 24.4 and the linking number sorry the right is going to be minus 1.4 so that is another little mathematical thing which you should have a little overview that change in linking number is distributed into right and twist in this manner so in brief this is the overview of the linking number of the dna which otherwise is considered a difficult topic it's a topological i just to summarize it it's a topological property which is sum total of twist and right and twist is number of times one strand is coiling around another and uh, this is the picture which is the close to dna and in this twist is 25 but right is zero when i came to explain you right i said it's a number of times the helix is turned on itself axis of the helix is turned on itself 
and uh, if you see this picture you have a number of twist as 25 but the right has minus 2 then i said you have minus and plus right plus right is right handed uh, super helix and minus right is uh, sorry plus right is left handed super helix and minus right is right handed super helix and in this picture it's a right handed uh, super helix so minus right and two times this is one and this is two times right we can see here so linking number is 25 and right is minus 2 so the linking number becomes 23 then i gave you this uh, important example in this picture that this is open ended dna and uh, when it is closed with zero right it will have the same linking number as the twist and twist i said you can calculate by total number of base pair divided by the number of base pair in each turn and when i gave you the example that uh, total number of base pair is 260 and each turn the dna is having 10.4 base pair the twist came as 25 and then i said suppose if you unwind the dna slightly and uh, then close it the linking number is going to reduce in this and this will either adopt to uh, this picture or this picture which are geometrical isomer of each other in this the linking number is reduced to right is zero in this the linking number retains uh, the same number like 25 but uh, in this you tend to get a minus right that maintains the linking number is 23 i said the dna forms which are differing in um, just the linking number property they are known as topological isomer and they can be interconverted by topo isomerase but without cutting the dna you cannot uh, change the linking number that is one rule now these two pictures they show you a uh, same uh, linking number they are called geometrical isomer they differ in uh, twist and right so they, they are called geometrical number Thank you very much and for, for more such videos you can subscribe my channel Poonam Agarwal. Thanks.